Thank you. Uh, I am, I'm the next speaker. Uh, I am city councilor at large, Kristen Strezzo. I represent Somerville, my Hi. beloved community. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. Yes. I want to thank, thank you all for being here. I want to thank Red Cloaks for being here. You showed up. You showed up. Yes. You showed up. And I'm here because the impending road decision, I, I, I can't not be here. I can't not be here. I will show up every time because I have been fighting for this so long, for decades at this point. Back when I was in a feminist punk band decades ago. Wow! Oh. Oh, I'm like still fighting for this. But that's okay. That's okay. We're here. Bikini Kill? Love Bikini Kill, by the way. Woo! Saw that shirt. <laughs> um, so at a municipal level now, blessed to be a city councilor. I feel there's a lot we can do at a municipal level, and I've been so honored to get right to work. Challenging and making sure that rape kits were being tested and making sure that WIPA and, and, and Women's Health Protection Act is coming forward, that menstrual products are available to everybody. Yes. Yes. This is fantastic. Thank you. And, and I was proud to be the first city in the whole Commonwealth to introduce uh, a, 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 a ordinance that addresses manipulative and deceptive behaviors on crisis pregnancy centers, AKA fake abortion clinics. Thank you. Someone will put the lead and I'm so proud. But we can do this elsewhere too. Abortion's healthcare, we know that. It's healthcare, abortion is healthcare. And it's a medical decision only by the pregnant person and their doctor. doctor. Data shows that both Republicans and Democrats are having abortions. Yep. Data shows that people of all religious affiliations are having abortions. Data shows that people from every religious affiliation are having abortions. And it's nobody's business. Nobody's business what they do with their body. No. But we have to get real. We have to get real that to be anti-choice and anti-row demonstrates a clear contempt for women, for pregnant people, and for families. So I wrote down a few action steps because I hear from my constituents, constituents constantly, what can I do? How can I help? What can I do? What can I do? I can't stand this. I can't sit still. I can't sleep in some cases, some say. We have a lot of options. For those, well, we can talk about challenging our workplaces to take a stand for our health care. We can ask the large corporations to stand with us, to make a stand for us, for our health care. And we can because we can pull together and do this. And if you have children that are exploring colleges in an anti-choice state, you should be asking about that. You should be challenging the admission, admissions directors and the administration of these colleges that are courting you and ask them what they're going to do to protect your child's health yes. and what they're going to do to protect your child's identity yes. because that matters. And how are they not going to help? We need to be challenging our elected officials constantly. This is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be worrying about your lives so you don't have to and you can just live your lives. We shouldn't be here. And we should be having conversations with our neighbors, our friends, having those difficult conversations. We have to, we have to. There are no options. Community members making plans of next steps. And I'm proud that Somerville was a leader with the, the, the Crisis Pregnancy Center Ordinance. We took a stand. And I'm proud. We can do that all everywhere, all over the Commonwealth. And we can inspire others to take active steps every day because this 
moment matters. This moment matters. Every step matters. Every day matters. To be complacent right now is to let the anti-choice zealots win. I just can't be. Make this moment count. Thank you.